What's up? It's Marco back in on This Week in Soccer, where I'm going to be talking about everything involving American soccer for the week. And starting things off, I think we had might have had the best performance an American has ever had in Europe. And that was Christian Pulisic's performance against Real Madrid in the Champions League semifinals. He was able to pick Chelsea up a goal, and just great performance there. He was still getting fouled a bunch. Man, he looked worthy of that 10 jersey when he was going up against Hazard's old team. And, and if Pulisic can keep this up, keep his scoring up, and Chelsea have a chance to win the cup again, and and that would be crazy. I don't think anybody expected that after they fired Lampard, but you know, coach coming in mid-season that seems kind of familiar for Chelsea. So who knows? Maybe that could happen. And if they do make the final, it seems like Pulisic's going to be a huge part of that. So great work by him. Hope he can keep it up. And man, just awesome to see an American killing it in the Champions League. Um, you know, another guy who was on the Champions League bench but uh, won a trophy this week, Zach Steffen. He was in goal for Man City as they won the League Cup final. They were obviously going to beat Tottenham. I don't even think Tottenham fans thought they had a chance of winning. But, um, yeah, Zach Steffen didn't have too much to do, but man, it's awesome to see. Won the trophy. He seems to still be, like, ready for a knockout game, so that's good for the American teams, even if he's not playing, like, week in, week out. He seems good, and I think he's obviously going to have the number one spot. And, man, it's great to see another American win a League Cup. Um, I think Brad Friedel and Casey Keller were two did before. Um, I feel like Tim Howard did. That might have been the FA Cup, though. But, yeah, nice to see American goalie still doing well in England. Um, another guy who won a trophy, uh, Mark McKenzie. He didn't start, but he came on to uh, see out the win for Genk in the Belgian Cup final. So another American who got a trophy this week. So, yeah, um, aside from that, just some good performances. Um, Conrad De La Fuente, he's been really picking up form for Barcelona B. Hopefully this will lead to, um, hopefully a loan out for him, maybe into uh, La Liga. Hopefully not the Segunda Liga, but I feel like he might be able to ride this form into a, a decent La Liga campaign, and I mean, maybe he'll be able to ride into a starting job or a job in Barcelona. I mean, they do give youth players a chance. I feel like that's a bit unrealistic, but uh, I feel like he definitely has the potential to... Uh, Make it just the league or La Liga side next year, so hopefully he'll be able to do that. Um, Chris Richards, he had a good game for Hoffenheim, but he picked up an injury. Seems like he's just a knock. It seems like he posted that wasn't anything serious. Uh, I think a hamstring, and man, I mean, we're not too good with hamstring injuries right now, but I, I think he'll be fine. Over in Spain, uh, Yunus Musa continued to start for Valencia. I mean, I was uh, kind of skeptical last week because he started, but it was a midweek game. But uh, he seems to be continuing to start, so great for him. Uh, then over to the MLS, we had a couple good goalie performances. I just want to shout this out because I keep on complaining that we don't have any goalies starting in Europe. Uh, Matt Turner got an easy shutout for New England, and David Ochoa seems to be the starter for Real Salt Lake. Good job of him to win the job. Uh, I know he's going up against Zach McMath, who's a really solid M MLS keeper, so... He definitely showed, had to show a lot to pick up that job and uh, had a good game. He almost started a fight by kicking a ball into the uh, stand at the end of the game. So, hey, that's something interesting. Uh, John Luca Busio for uh, Sporting Kansas City. He picked up a goal and he's playing in a more advanced role now, like a, almost like a striker type position, but definitely more advanced. Uh, going to be in interesting to see how that develops. I did like him in the midfield, but I mean, picking up more strikers for the national team, that's definitely good. And uh, last guy I want to talk about, the first guy who I'm going to be adding to uh, the list of players I'm going to be covering this year, Cade Cowell for San Jose. I shout out this game last week where I said it was he was a guy to watch, and he had a great game. He picked up an, a goal and an assist. He's a 17-year-old striker. He's starting. He's a great athlete. He's definitely somebody to look out for. So, yeah, Cade Cowell, I'm going to be covering him now, so great for him. Uh and one more thing is uh, Jesse Marsh, the RB, Sal RB Salzburg coach, is now moving to RB Leipzig. He's uh, climbed the Red Bull ladder from New York to Salzburg. Now he's in Leipzig. He's going to be a top manager in the Bundesliga, and it's great for him. Just showing like how American coaches can do. Really excited to see him play, uh, or him coach RB Leipzig. Maybe he'll bring over Brandon Aronson. I bet he comes over eventually. But uh, yeah, great to see. Maybe this hurts the prospects of him managing the national team, but um, hey, either way, good to see for him. Yeah, that's about it for American players. Then going into the CONCACAF Champions League, uh, the MLS teams had a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, in the MLS only matchup, Philly looked to have Atlanta beat, beat them 3-0 in the first leg. 
And then Toronto seems to be in trouble. They went down a 3-1. I believe that was three away goals they conceded. So, yeah, tough luck for them. And then Columbus and Portland both tied, but both of them also led in away goals. So they're going to have to be scoring if they want to go through. Yeah, decent result for the CONCACAF Champions League. I'm hoping that uh, Philadelphia and at least one of Columbus and Portland could go through. That'd be good to see. But yeah, that's about it for uh, those games. I want to talk about the M- uh, NWSL real quick because I kind of advertised some, not advertised, but I like to shout out some games and I went to find it and I just figured out they're behind a paywall on a Paramount Plus. I didn't know this and it would have been nice if Paramount Plus would have advertised that in one of their like five Super Bowl ads they had or all those ads that you see, but yeah. Didn't see it at all. I mean, I don't see how this grows the league. Just having like something behind a paywall, and it's honestly just a problem that seems uh, all too common in uh, soccer in America. I mean, we know that the pay-to-play thing, thats it seems like it's finally getting phased out, but um, I feel like that's still a thing in like the women's league. I mean, all the, like a lot of good players are coming out of clubs. They have to go to college where hopefully they will get scholarships, but um, that's still... Uh, it's still something you have to pay a lot for college, especially considering a lot of these uh, players are staying for four years. And, um, yeah, I know that uh, for some sports, especially, like, the smaller ones, they don't even get full scholarships. Like, a lot of them get, like, half scholarships so they can uh, sign more players. So, yeah, I mean, maybe there's still, like, a bit of a pay-to-play aspect in the women's league. And, like, I was looking up academies associated with the NWSL, and... I can't find the cost, but uh, the scope is really lacking. I mean, there are no academies at all in California, none in the Philadelphia area, none in Dallas, which are a lot of, that's where a lot of the uh, men's players are found, none in Chicago, none in Atlanta, and there's a lot of spots missing. So hopefully the NWSL can get things figured out because um, it's not looking like a great league right now. I mean, Seems like a bit like the NBA or WNBA where uh, a lot of players will be jumping overseas because they'll be able to get more money. I covered Elena Cook, who had a great game for PSG, scored a goal, who uh, just made the jump from college to France. And uh, the league is starting to struggle to hold on to some foreign players like uh, Kerr, who uh, left uh, Chicago. So, uh, yeah, a little bit concerning for the NWSL. I mean, it's obviously a great league. It gets a lot of talent, but uh, it's something I wanted to mention. Okay, so... That's about everything I want to talk about for soccer, like soccer things. Uh, coming up this week, we have uh, today, Werder Bremen is going to be playing RB Leipzig in the DFP Pokal semifinal. Josh Sargent and Tyler Adams will be going at it. One of them will be in the final. Hopefully, uh, Dortmund won't choke, and uh, we'll get Giovanni Reina in the, other, in the other side of the final. So, decent chance we'll get another American with the trophy there. So, uh, that's a game to watch. Then Saturday, you got Chelsea against Fulham. Hopefully Poole sick against Anthony Robinson. And uh, the MLS game we want to shout out this week is uh, R- uh, RSL against Sporting Kansas City. RSL have got a lot of decent prospects. A lot of Olympic players came from there. And uh, Kansas City with uh, John Luca Busio and good guy to watch. Sunday, got a good match between uh, Valencia and Barcelona. against Musa, Serginho Dest, hopefully. And then uh, Women's Champions League, PSG Barcelona, Elena Cook again, as you mentioned. Not much on Monday, but uh, Tuesday, the CONCACAF Champions League continues. Uh, we should see Philly go through. Um, maybe Toronto can put up a fight. Uh, Wednesday, you got Chelsea against Real Madrid. And get to see pools that can get Chelsea through. And uh, also CONCACAF Champions League with uh, Portland and Columbus. Also, the Women's NCAA Tournament continues. Uh, the team I, If you have to pick one team to watch, it would probably be North Carolina. Hopefully, they'll still be in the tournament because it's... Uh, I think it's a sweet 16 there. They have to win a game, but I think they should. And Thursday, uh, men's round of 16 with uh, Clemson's the team I'd pick out to watch. Both of them have uh, the top prospects, I think, available right now. So, yeah, those are the teams I'd like to shout out. And, yeah, great week for the U.S. I mean, Christian Pulisic, his game was just amazing. Zach Steffen picked up a trophy. Jesse Mark managing a top club in Europe, probably a Champions League club. So, yeah, that's great to see. And good week for America soccer and yeah that's about it i'll see you